Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Quickies. Today we are revisiting an old classic. This is the cliff map in BeamNG Drive only. Uh, this has been updated to have PBR textures, so you know the, the update that made BeamNG have good graphics finally. Well, that has been applied to the cliff map, and this actually isn't uh, default. This is a mod. I'll have it linked down below if you want to try it out but yeah i'll, I'll use any excuse uh to throw cars down the cliff and beam and drive any day of the week so what do you say we do just that <laughs> This video is sponsored by Apex Gaming PCs. Have you wanted to start playing BeamNG Drive and basically any other games you want at the highest FPS possible? Well, do I have a deal for you. If you didn't know, I've been working with Apex Gaming PCs for quite a while now to bring you guys three custom neological PCs, all custom made to play BeamNG Drive and all the games I play on my channel at the best FPS possible. The way they do it is by adding Ryzen CPUs, which are especially good for games like BeamNG Drive that are very CPU intensive, but they're good for pretty much everything else as well. And if you do decide to pick one up today, make sure to use code Neil at checkout for 5% off instantly. Again, thank you to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring this video. How about we try the, we'll go old school here and uh, we'll try the good old D series. Now, this is my favorite route right down the middle. Gives you maximum destruction. And by that, I mean your car is going to be completely nothing scrap metal flaming scrap metal by the time we get to the bottom of this cliff <laughs> this hill oh my god this mountain really oh god it's holding together pretty well though i will say oh <laughs> the cab is still on that's always a good uh a good sign here comes the no textured sand yeah i don't know what that's about that's kind of, i mean it looks kind of cool but kind of out of place i thought it was just like black sand at first but no that's a <laughs> that's a missing texture i don't know if that was something i did wrong or if that's just a, a little bug that needs to be fixed i don't know it doesn't really matter though look at these tires though what's going on there i couldn't really tell you very strange looking that's for sure. Was this island always here? I have no idea. Maybe there just isn't a PBR texture for the sand. I don't know. Yeah, car not looking too great. The car, I think the cab did eventually fall off right at the end there. Uh, let's go ahead and restart. Let's actually go backwards. How often do you see people go backwards on the cliff map? Here we go. All the way down. Oh, that's a long way down. <laughs> I don't think this side is quite as steep. Uh, but if you want some speed, this is the way to go. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm noticing that the roof is just being absolutely annihilated almost instantly flattened to bits. So maybe we should try this with a car with a little bit more protection. So I'm thinking something with a roll cage, obviously. So maybe a rally edition of the Vivas, I think would be perfect uh, for testing the integrity of a, a roll cage in a race car. Just throw it down a mountain. That's the best way to test it. Oh, we got a lot of air there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. So far, so good. Again, holding together pretty well, I think. The roll cage is indeed doing its job here. Oh, it's going to be a rough ride no matter what, though. I don't think you're going to survive this. <laughs> Either way, the G-forces will get you. Uh, that's for sure the motion blur putting in work on uh, this particular video. We might bounce all the way to the ocean. Come on, so close. There we go. It's no swimming pool on the car jump arena, but uh, it's pretty close. Now let's check the damage here. How are we looking? Pretty good. This is where you'd be sitting. I think you're probably still uh, in one piece, maybe two, uh, but yeah, you're probably okay, right? <laughs> All right, so we've tested uh, safe cars. Now let's go for something expensive. So how much uh, would this orange uh, Bugatti Chiron cost? Let's see, $3,600,000. That's, uh, that's not too expensive, but that's pretty expensive. So let's, let's, <laughs> let's throw this thing uh, down the cliff. Oh man, Bugatti fans, I apologize for this, for what I'm about to do, but we need to do it in the name of science. Here we go. So far, so good. <laughs> Want to take bets on whether this thing's going to break in half? I'm, I'm willing to bet that it will. If we can get some more speed, I think this thing will definitely 
uh, break in half because it can do that. We need more speed, though. There we go. Come on. This is the steep section. Come on. I mean, I, I didn't put money down on it, but I know it can break in half, so I want to see it break in half, but I don't think it's actually going to. Unless we take one hell of a hit on something. Yeah. I don't think it's going to. You can kind of start to see the seams breaking a little bit at the top there. But I don't think it's actually going to uh, to sever, which uh, is uh, disappointing. Maybe I can do it myself, though, if we grab maybe one of these body panels here. And yoink it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yoink it. Come on. Just grab the engine. Yoink it. Oh. Okay, that did it, right? Yeah, okay. So, just so you know, it can break in half. It just it was pretty strong, I guess. By the way, the car looks pretty good for just being thrown down. I mean, the inside, not the outside. Outside's completely destroyed, but I think you might be okay through that. All right, so we've done uh, not safe, safe, expensive. Now let's do uh, cheap. Should we go cheap? <laughs> sure. What's, like, the cheapest car? Uh, we could probably a Covette, right? I feel like this is probably not going to go great, uh, especially if we use like the the base model. At least it's in red, so it's not super boring. Uh, but let's see how this one does. We'll take a little bit of a different rule. We'll go a little bit to the left this time. We can barely make it over these hills, man. Just make it to the crevice. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We might be able to drive a little bit more. Here we go. Let's get some air. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's giving it all it can. This little Covet. It's not dead yet. The engine's still running. Oh, okay. That one hurt a little bit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. At least it's a slow descent. Unlike some of the other ones. The engine is still running, by the way. Oh, there's like a... It's like pretty flat down here, actually. Relatively speaking. So the Covet kind of got off easy on this one, if I'm being completely real. Look, we can still drive this thing. Oh, we can stop cartwheeling. There we go. Get it on all fours. I don't even know if we're going to make it to the, the beach. Yeah, I think we're going to stop right about here. Okay, well, we made it like halfway down the mountain, right? That's somewhere around halfway, I would say. All right, now we got to go big. Let's not go too crazy just yet. Let's use like maybe a, a larger H series. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe this, this ambulance here. An ambulance rescuing uh, the guy in the COVID. I don't know if it's going to go well. We might just be adding to the problem, but it's worth a shot. I would say. So here we go. Oh, not a great start. Not a great start. Oh, we might get stuck here. We might be too big. Wait, 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 wait. Squeak through. There we go. There we go. Our roof fell off. Not great. Do we still have the gurney? We still do have the gurney in there, I think. Yeah, I think I just saw it. It hasn't flown out yet. So that's a good sign. We got a lot of speed here. Uh-oh. <laughs> the gurney's still holding on, though. If we hold it all... Oh, 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 oh. If we can hold it all the way to the beach, I will be happy. I will be so happy it's still holding on. Oh, there we go. Right before the beach, we lost it. But hey, it's not, it's not really lost. It's like 20 feet away. If there was anybody on that, they might be okay. Probably not, though. All right. And last but not least, let's go very, very big and very fast at the same time. Of course, I'm talking about the hero uh, DT40L Wentward. All right. You ready for this? I don't know how this is going to go. I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm just going to hit it, man. Rockets, everything. All right. Three, two, one. Hit it. I want to get some. I want to I want to I want to fly over the entire mountain. This thing really needs some wings. That's not, it's not holding us up. Oh my God. Did we lose the rockets? We did in fact lose the rockets. Camera was falling off. Oh no. We've turned this into like more of a wedge shape. The engine is still running somehow. Oh, wait, never mind. There goes the engine. <laughs> it just, it just got flung out. My goodness. Well, you can't win them all. How's the inside looking though? Anybody okay in here? Oh, that's not good. How's the driver? Oh, that's not good either. I don't think when they were designing uh, this bus for public use, they did, they factored in uh, falling off an entire cliff. So I guess it's understandable. I mean, you can still recognize it as a bus, though. 
uh, which I would say is a win. Anyway, guys, this is the PBR updated cliff map. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the sand here. Maybe we just need a new texture for this. Just like a no texture, I guess. Uh, it looks kind of cool, though. But yeah, besides that, this map is awesome, of course. Uh, this is like the first map ever made for BMG Drive, so it needed the PBR update. Maybe we'll get an official one in the future. I don't know. Uh, but if you want to try this one, I'll have a link down below. So make sure to check it out. And while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.